Hey friends, back again. We are going to, I'm going to show you what my skincare routine is. And I'm going to pretend like it's nine o'clock at night right now. And I've had makeup on today. So right now, normally when I, um, I use a little generic face wipe. Um, the reason I use these um, is like if I don't have, if I have any like heavy makeup, I just don't want it to get in my washcloths and so any heavy stuff, which I really don't even wear heavy makeup. Um, probably my heaviest is like my mascara. And so that's how I start any heavy makeup. Okay. Step number two, my charcoal. Yes, most of the time this is in a two in one, but I have mine separate. So I have a little bowl here that I have my loofah and here's my charcoal and I just do it right on here. Charcoal. I really don't, my face isn't broke out right now. If it was broke out, this is where you could put extra charcoal on and you can just and dab it on. So normally, hi Lupita, I would leave this to dry, but I'm not going to because I got more stuff to do here. So I'm going to use my little wipey again just to take my charcoal off. So normally you would leave that to dry. Maybe five, ten minutes. Just go get on Facebook, go do something. Yes, everybody asked me, do you have permanent eyeliner? Yes, I do. You can see it right there. It was like the twilight zone. It was horrible. I would never recommend anyone get it done. But I was right in the middle of getting it done. And I chickened out. And I told him, stop. I can't take it. I can't do it anymore. And uh, she goes, well, you only have this much on. And that's how you're going to stand. That's how you're going to stay for like the rest of the time. And so... I had to go ahead and finish it. My eyes were swelled shut for like two weeks. And so normally I would like rinse it, but I'm not over a sink right now. So step one, step two, acne spray or your collagen booster spray. So people that have acne want the acne spray. People that don't have acne like the Collagen Booster Spray. So both kind of very similar. Um, the acne spray has more tea tree and the uh, Collagen Booster has more lavender frankincense. So how we do this is close your eyes, your lips inside. Mm -hmm. Two or three sprays. Breathe it in because it will really open your sinus passages. So, I've washed. Oh, I already forgot step two. Oh my gosh, I'm talking over here. After the charcoal. <laughs> you see, I just get so distracted. Then comes step two. Okay, so let's go back and do that. All right. This is my chamomile, tea tree and chamomile side. I use this one a lot. I, I use this one more than the charcoal because my skin's really dry. So, this, you're just applying a little tiny bit. And it will kind of like bubble. I mean, not like literally bubble like if you have a bubble machine. But it just kind of bubbles up. Just lathers up. I always be sure to get it around the edge of your lips. Because right on the edge of your lips, and especially right up in here. That's why I like these little tiny pieces of loofah. Because you can get in all those areas. 
okay? Now we'll take this off, but so you can just see it just kind of bubbled up, lathered up. But if you had a breakout, you want to make sure that you leave that charcoal on to really dry, to suck all that sebum, all that oil out. Okay, now we go back for the spray. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Shake, 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 shake. Shake your spray. Okay. Let that dry for like just a minute. You can like feel it. It's cooling. It's tingling. It, if it stings, okay, listen to me. If it stings, it's okay. Where it's stinging is because you had, that's all my mascara coming off now. I can like see it in the camera here. Um, it's because you had a little, uh, a little wound. You had a little acne. You had a little wound there. So it's okay that it stings because it's, you're going to, we're going to putting antiseptic in there. Okay. So we have that done. Mm -hmm. This is my nighttime routine. Okay. Next I'm using my golds on. Look, you can already see how much I've used. I love golds on. So this I usually use two. I kind of use this in the areas where you know your face. You know um, my charcoal soap is six dollars. My tea tree and charcoal soap is six dollars. My tea tree and chamomile soap is six dollars. Um, I do have larger. I uh, have larger ones. Um, actually, on the tea tree and charcoal, I have them um, six, eight, eleven, six, eight, and eleven. And that is because of the size. So I have a lot of people that use it like when they shower because they want to detox their back, their chest. A lot of people have acne on their chest and on their back, on their butt. And so we can use it in the shower. But just make sure that when you get out of the shower, take the soap out of the shower and put it back on your soap holder so that it dries out. So... I'm using my golds on and so I uh, used two I've used two little squirts and I just applied that all over my face but especially around the eyes um, in the areas where you have like a little bit of you know little spot see I have one little spot right there and one barely still on this cheek right here but compared to what my face was a year ago you would be freaked out if you saw how how spotted how dry all of the lines that I had on my face, I literally thought I had skin cancer. My dad had it, and when he would go to the doctor, they would like cut a piece out and stitch it up and cut a piece out. And like it was already like Frankenstein-ish. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're like gonna start cutting on my face. My mom said, those are sunspots. I keep telling you, wear a hot, big brimmed hat. So after that, man, I got me one of those ugly hats, and I, I wear it. If I'm just going to go out to my garden to go pick some tomatoes, I wear my hat all the time. If people are coming to pick up an order, uh, most of the time right now I'm leaving the orders in the mailbox. Um, you know, they call and say, okay, I'm already on my way. I leave it in the mailbox for them. But sometimes, you know, we have to do a transaction. Sometimes, you know, they can't log on and I have to go exchange money. But even when I go outside, I have my hat on. It's only going to be for two or three minutes. But two or three minutes in South Texas... It was like a week in Indiana. I mean, I remember we used to lay out all summer long and barely get a little tiny tan line. And But coming down here, you can have a tan line in five minutes. So um, I am trying really desperately now to um, pamper my skin, uh, cover my skin, because the majority of our damage comes from the sun. So once we understand where the damage is coming from, then we can go, okay. And the other thing is, is that a lot of people maybe don't really pay attention to, is when you're driving, lean to the center. Because when the sun comes through that glass, right on the side of your face, it is magnified because it's going through a glass. So try and always lean in. Kind of hold your arm over so even your hand isn't getting all, you know, you got one hand that usually looks, you know, more wrinkled than the other or more spots than the other. So, 
All right, back to uh, my routine. So I've already put my gold on. Now I'm gonna do my inner beauty. A lot of people ask me, oh, do you still use Fountain of Youth? No, I don't. Um, I mean, I make this stuff, so why am I gonna use the one that's 12 times less strong? I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna use the one that's 12 times stronger. So I start just at my jawline. You can see I rub it on my lips. My mom was like, oh, I never even thought about putting inner beauty on my lips. Well, yeah, mom. It's like, you know, this is the cream right here. And so I usually do two, about two little squirts here. Come up. This area right here is really important right there. Okay. I go all the way to my ears. And then I go a little bit behind my ears. Okay. Now what I have left over right now, I rub it on the back of my hands. A little bit more right here. Rub it on my chest. The reason why I'm not doing, hi Sonia, the reason I'm not doing my neck is because I'm getting ready to do, now in the morning I might put a little bit of this on my neck, but um, at night it's because I got something else for my neck. Okay. So that's inner beauty. Put that one to the side. Now, two times a week, I do hyaluronic gold. And the reason why is because my skin is really dry. I do not have rich moisture skin. Uh, I got really dry skin. So with this, you can see one little drop right there. Can you see it right there? One little drop, okay. I divide that one little drop into two fingers and it goes right on the edge right here. Right on, look, see those lines right there? Goes right here. This is, see this is my, I used to whistle. My dad was a whistler before he, he died. And my dad whistled all the time and it was like very comforting to whistle. So I do this right here, put that hyaluronic acid right here. When you use hyaluronic acid, that's only step one. Hyaluronic acid has two steps. Why they don't advertise it on TV, I don't know. But if you do any research yourself on hyaluronic acid, it is a humectant. Its job is to absorb moisture. But if you don't put any moisture on it, how can it absorb it? So if you don't, if it doesn't absorb it from the outside, it's going to absorb it from the inside out. And we do not want that. This is my spray bottle. Okay. This is my bathroom spray bottle. As soon as I put it on. So yes, I do have cute little spray bottles. Let me show you one. This is my hydrating spritz. So if you don't have a spray bottle, you can buy a hydrating spritz bottle. These are $5. They already have the oils. I mean, they're just oils. But the oils is not the important thing. The water is the important thing. So, um... But a lot of people just like to like spritz their face and be fresh. So let's just say I just sprayed that and I came back. I waited. I went, came to the kitchen. I went and came and got my um, Snapple. I love this. This is crazy good. S the Diet Snapple half and half. It's really hard to find in Brownsville. There's only one place that carries it. H-E-B on Boca Chica, which I just told my secret and everybody's going to go buy it. So... Let's say you went and got your drink. You came back and your face was dry. Spray it again. Hyaluronic acid will hold a thousand times its weight in water. That's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be like you just put a sponge on your face and its job now is to absorb all the moisture that it can. So we want to absorb so especially like around your eye area right here, maybe around your mouth. I've never smoked a cigarette in my entire life, but from whistling, I have all those lines already. So right here, right here, this is like really where um, our, normally most of our lines are, are there, okay? Even right here, our marionette lines. And I've really been noticing, I have a scar. I had a spinal fusion right here, um, a few years back and so I have this deep scar right here and so you know I'm really working on my whole chin and neck area right now 
So we've already done that. We're just gonna let that dry for a few minutes. So while we're letting the hyaluronic acid and uh, the water to dry, I am gonna show you Cellutite. So here's my Cellutite cream. The, so this is still my first jar. This has already been, I don't know, maybe six months that I've used this. And this is what I do twice a day. I put my finger in it. Okay, not the most sanitary, but I'm the only one who uses it. That's how much I use. You see it right there? This goes on my chin. And this goes all the way to my ears. And it comes down. This is for targeted cellulite right here. You have little, little pockets that even when you lose weight, seems like they don't want to go away. So this is any and every oil that is out there that would melt cellulite is in here. So then we have that on there. Uh, so right now, if I had acne, this is where my eczema and acne relief would come in. If I had a little patch of acne right here or right here, and you know, we just did a video a little while ago on you know the face breaking out um, because of all the bacteria in, in the mask. So this is where you would get your, your little dot and you would just dot that right where your face is broken out. That's your eczema and acne relief. It's green, it's the green cream. Okay, so then let us go to IMAX. IMAX is my go-to every day. One, two, one, two, especially up here. And I go up here. If this is a tightener, which it is, see, because my eyelids were so heavy, they actually came down oh, and covered my eyeliner. And I do one. I do one right here oh, as well. Now, if you have acne, a lot of acne, don't put it here and don't put it here on the top because we do have pores up here. Right around our eyes, we really don't get acne or right around our eye. But you can get acne, you do have pores up here, and you do have pores around your lip. So if you're one that you're prone to heavy acne, don't put that there because it can clog that, and then you would have a breakout on top of it. So eye max, this is for like puffy eyes, dark circles. Once you put it on, I tell everybody, put the lid on it, walk away from the mirror, because what you're gonna wanna do is I'm going to help it. I'm going to move it in the corner. I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to move it over here. Like, so don't, don't do it. It knows where it's going to go. Put it on, leave it there and let it do its job. So, um, for those of you who have, um, falsies, if you have lash extensions, no, not falsies. Falsies are like glue on. Lash extensions are like permanently glued on. So um, I do have a lash cleaner, which this is a foamer. One little foam like that. You would get your little Q-tip and put it right on your lashes because if you have ex lash extensions, you cannot have any oil on those lashes because if you put oil on them, the lashes are, are gonna come off. So this is a cleaner for lash extensions. All right, and then of course we have our Wow Lash my wow lash this is uh, for lash growth so why would people like lose their eyelashes um, radiation um, you have over uh, curled them you have over done lash extensions and you pulled them off yourself and your all your eyelashes come out with them so this is an eyelash growth extender this is a stimulator okay so this goes right on your lashes and when you apply it, it goes right to the root of your hair and goes in the pore. And that's exactly where we want it to go. Okay. So wow lash. Um, I just use mine in the evening and I sometimes even, I, most of the time I forget. Okay. I'll be honest. Most of the time I forget. Um, but I certainly don't forget my inner beauty and I do not forget my eye max, but sometimes I forget the, the lash. So next, these are my, one of my favorites. 
course you know it because anytime you probably anytime you see me out you see me with them because I love them I love these push collagen in your skin these are my little eye masks so all of that goodness that I just put on my skin all the eye max the inner beauty this is now going to push it inside the recommended um, time on the packages says 15 to 20 minutes I say no 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 you leave it on three or four hours until these are a gold piece of paper like paper because that means it has pushed all of this collagen besides the cream that you already had on to begin with so these are your gold masks and then I am going to finish up with my V-line okay all of you know that I've been working on this whole chin and neck thing here for a while when they took my picture um, at my granddaughter's birthday party you know who you are um, yep they did they took that picture of me and posted it on Facebook and there I was looking I'm going oh, who is that I like her hair man who is that Man, she got like three or four chins on there and it was me what that is me okay so this is this is a paper that comes on it let me just take all the paper off I usually take half of it off and then the other half this is the bottom half I like to pull it just a little bit here because I don't like it really tight like around my ears <laughs> part one part one these are completely reusable the gold eye masks are not reusable the v-line is reusable I use mine I don't know eight or ten times maybe okay and then this and I love this because this is gonna give me even that extra mask around my mouth ready mm -hmm. so muscles have memory so it always reminds me of this video that I watched many years ago of, I don't know, this tribe up in the mountains somewhere. Hang on, I'm going to take this off so I can tell you. Take this top one off. Um, this tribe up in the mountains somewhere, they had these um, girls and they would wear these gold, they would get gold, like tubing. And they had these really long necks. And after they took that tubing off of their neck after you know so long that they would wear it their neck stayed like that so I'm like hmm so I know that even the the ladies in uh, Japan um, you know it's horrible if you have large feet like you're just not um, beautiful I guess um, you're not a lady if you have really large feet and I wear a size 10 so I would be a monster over there but they bind their feet so that they're the size of their feet it's like three and a half to four and they bind them so if they can bind their feet and their feet stay like that I feel like I can bind my chin and it's gonna stay like that so this is my nighttime routine right here this is what I do and yes yeah, some uh, I, I sleep in it sometimes sometimes I get up and if my sinuses are bothering me then I'll take it off uh, I generally leave these on all night when I wake, wake up in the morning they might be on my husband or in my eyelashes or on the floor I mean they could be anywhere but you know at that point I don't care when I wake up my eyes are completely smooth so if you have any questions please feel free to reach out I'm here thank you for your support thank you for supporting my small business love you